hi guys so welcome back to my channel and in this video i'm going to teach you how to charge a battery by just connecting single terminal to the power source with just one wire okay so here is the multimeter i will point it towards 20 volts dc and measure uh, the current voltage i mean uh, the present voltage on the battery okay so here as you can see that the battery is discharged it is showing 7.15 volts and it should be 12 volts because it is a bike battery so anyways uh, it is still a theory and experiment that i am going to test upon this battery and this is exactly what i am going to do here in this video so let's proceed with it guys you can see uh, that even though it was showing 7 volts uh, but uh, the current inside the battery is so low that it can't even light up this car indicator bulb which starts glowing even at uh, 1 or 2 volts this means that as soon as I connect this bulb to the battery it's, uh, uh, the voltage of this battery starts dropping or maybe it is not connected pretty good let's test that too so measuring the voltage of the battery with the bulb connected to it uh, you can see that the voltage has dropped now when i will connect this bulb to the terminals of the battery the voltage should drop even lower you can see that the voltage is going as low as 0.03 volts and as soon as i release it it's jumping back again 6 volts this means that the current is too low to power up any useful appliance so okay i'm going to do some voltage test so guys the components needed for this kind of uh, project the first one is going to be the dc converter 12 volts to 220 volts so although as you can see here the polarity is marked plus and minus but still i'm going to reconfirm it so this is a 12 volts uh, 7 h ups battery i'm going to operate this with this and uh, confirm the polarity okay negative has been connected and positive has also connected okay now let's measure the voltage it is uh, producing plus the polarity like this shows uh, the plus sign so let's try from here so yeah somewhere around 205 and this one is plus for sure okay let's disconnect this then and guys the second component is this large metal piece that i'm going to use okay so let's do the installation so guys now i'm going to hammer this with this hammer here yes. okay and then put some water and then hammer a little bit again okay. yeah i think this should be enough so guys these are some of the components that i'm going to use for this project okay okay so first doing the connections so this wire is what i'm going to connect to the positive so yeah connected to the positive and this one connected to the negative okay although i don't think that i'm going to uh, do the negative connection it is not needed because i have to charge the battery with just a single wire this has been connected to the positive i think i should connect it to the negative because the negatives are the electron side so now i've connected it to the negative and i'm also going to connect this negative terminal of this charged battery to the negative okay keep it steady i will keep it held this way and to the positive i will connect this cable okay so guys here as you can see that uh, this cable is connected to the battery and the other end of it is not connected to any terminal this is open completely open so this is going to go to that aluminum sink electron sink and guys before i start the experiment i would like to recheck the voltage on the battery to compare it with uh, the newly charged voltage after it gets a little bit charged if it gets charged so at present it is showing almost zero volts i'll keep it like this for better visibility okay so uh, negative over here and positive over here 
and the voltage is 7.26 so guys remember that 7.26 volts and guys here i'm going to connect the other terminal this is the other terminal to the ground okay yeah now it's pretty good guys i will show you the connections this is the dc converter from which only one negative terminal has been taken which is the green wire and has been connected to the negative terminal of the battery that is to be charged and the positive terminal of the battery has been connected with this wire to the ground okay now all i have to do is connect the terminals of the converter to this 7ah ups lead acid battery and after some time measure if this battery has gained some voltage or not the plan is that this ground metal rod is going to take in is going to act as the neutral source or uh, uh, the positive terminal and electrons are going to come from this converter okay so guys now i'm going to connect uh, the terminals of this converter to this lead acid battery to start the experiment so connecting negative to the negative and positive to the positive okay go so uh, the red light has started glowing i'll give you a close of view in the meantime the bat battery should be charging you can see guys uh, it is very you know, bright over here because of which the light is very dim but still you can see that it is glowing and the connections have been established so initially the voltage was 7.26 before i connected uh, the battery to this setup now after 5 minutes i will check the charge this small battery has gained so guys now i'm going to test this battery voltage after 5 minutes okay so you can see that it has actually charged from 7.26 to 7.46 volts you can see guys the voltage is increasing 7.47 volts 7.48 so yes it is charging So let's disconnect the wire now. Now here two things are there that I'm going to tell you. First of all, this boost converter, 12 volts to 220 volts, is drawing very little amount of power from this battery because no load is connected since only one wire is connected to this converter. Okay, if two wires had been connected with an actual resistive or inductive load, then it would be drawing some good amount of power from the battery. So the battery is partially getting discharged. like very slowly and still the battery is is gaining charge it almost gained a uh, 0.20 volts 261046 yeah 0.20 volts and guys for this experiment to work the voltage should not be equivalent to the battery or a little more to the battery it should be as high as possible because uh, we are not actually shorting the battery since only one terminal is connected and still we need more and more number of electrons to go to the negative terminal of the battery and the positive terminal will uh, discharge all the gained electrons from the negative to the ground so this way the positive is getting empty and uh, the negative is gaining electrons on its terminals and increasing the potential difference between the negative and positive terminals now guys the battery has been connected to this uh, charging system for around 10 minutes and i was pretty excited to check how much more voltage it has gained so let's check that okay wo 7.60 volts okay so guys that would be all about today's video thank you so much for watching it please hit like and don't forget to share and subscribe if you have any project related queries then you can always ask them in comments of course so yeah Thank you